Maria with the Amateur Crafter. Hi! So I got some things for Christmas and I'm going to try them out today. I got the watercolor cards and watercolor markers and the Cricut card mat. Ah! Ah! <laughs> so I'm going to play with those. So let's hop into Cricut Design Space and start playing around. So yeah, I just, I'm going to make a couple of Valentine's Day cards. So let's take a look at some of the featured images and just see what sticks out. See what looks like fun. Straight out of mommy, that's kind of fun. Here's featured images. Oops, let me go back. I'm not sure I love that gift tag. It's trending on socials. Sure, let's take a look. That dotted heart was kind of cute. I'm going to skip the community projects. Usually I like to see what other people are doing through there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to skip the birthday, new year, new design, cards to pop, um, beginner fonts, contributing artists, seasonal projects. Let's look there. Um, I On this heart mug, I really like this design, so I'm going to do that with the watercolor. Um, I know it's kind of... Um, Uh, it's a weird design, it's a mug design, but I want to put that on a card. So um, I'll show you how to do that. So actually this one doesn't have an add to canvas option. So let me, um, I'll have to copy and paste that into a new project. So let me go ahead and click on it and it's going to open a new project. I think, let's see what my options are. Today I've got some tea and coffee, so I am more than ready. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's ever told you, but if you on your Cricut pens, you do want to store them um, tip down because the ink. Um, so the ink will pool to the tip and they'll be ready for your machine to be placed in your machine. I'm not sure why this is taking a while. Oh, probably because I have lots of things open. There we go. So uh, yeah, this is everything. Um, I only get to customize it. So let's just customize. I'm gonna copy that image and put it into a new project. Okay, here's the image. They did attach it, so let me detach it. I'm going to undo this. And it looks like this is detached as well. There we go. Okay, so let's copy this. And I am going to do a, well, you know what? We'll just leave this all here and delete that. There we go. And I am going to change that one to a draw or pen. And I'm going to change that to my marker. And scroll all the way down to the watercolor marker and we'll do it red. And now the size, I'm going to set up the guide. My um, card is 4.75 by 4.75 square. So let's go ahead and set up a guide for that. Four point, whoops. And switch that to a guide. So we can size this 
part appropriately. Let me just like rearrange those. So all I did was grab the love and bring it to the top and that brings it to the front on the right side is what I did there. So I don't want, I do want it to have a little bit of space in there. So about centered there. I can center it, um, a line and center here with the guides. Um, I've never used the card mat though, so I don't know how that's going to reflect on my, um, on my actual card mat <laughs> when I go to get it cut it. But I do want to go back to the project and pick out some more um, card designs. So let's take a look. Uh, actually, that was on home, not the projects. And I was in the seasonal section. So let's scroll down to that section. Oops, scrolled up, scrolled the wrong way. Oh, did I? it? Oh, does it not show up here? Hmm. Or maybe it didn't load all the way. It didn't load all the way. That was the problem. I just wasn't patient enough. Yep, there was the love heart mag. Okay. So let's squish over. I don't want to do some Valentine pencils. And some more cute hearts. Hmm. Think about those stacked hearts. But I definitely want a dinosaur. And let's browse through these crazy cute cards and see if one of them catches my eye. There's some cutout cards. You know what? This much love is pretty cute. Um, I could do that. Let me think about how we could do that with um, just the watercolor markers. So just two different colors, maybe the black and the red. Um, maybe black and purple. Yeah, black and purple and just with much love. I think it says on your birthday, but we could just do much love. Yeah, so we'll recreate that one. So we'll have to go find a couple of hearts. There were a couple of hearts up above. So let me go see if I like those hearts. Oh, look, here's a cute, oh, your dynamite. So that's what I'll use for that dinosaur, is that your dynamite. And work out here of the rabbit. And I think that's it. Oh, no, it's still loading. It's telling me it's loading up at the top. Oh, it's done now. Oh, no, it's still loading. I'm just impatient. <laughs> so um, how many cards is that? That was three or four. Oh, we need to find a couple of hearts. Let's see if I like any of these hearts for the um, much love. I kind of like this one, so we can do that one. We'll add that to the canvas. And 
I designed a card a long time ago that was a sheet that said, I love you. Um, cute little pun. So maybe I'll go find a sheet if we need four. So let me go back to my canvas and see what I've got. because I don't remember how many I've done. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I think I will do the little sheepy. Um, this dinosaur is so funny. It cracks me up. So the dinosaur probably just needs to be about that, well, about that big. Um, there's enough right to, room to write your dynamite on there. Um, I will write it in regular pen. So let's change this to draw. Um, uh, everybody knows dinosaurs are green, so I'll do him in green. Um, but I think I want to, let's contour him. So let's do two of him. So duplicate, I'm just right clicking and selecting duplicate. I want to draw those little hearts in red. So I want little red hearts in, um, on his bum, because <laughs> I think that's cute. Um, my computer's being slow, so I'm waiting for that to duplicate. And then I will contour one so that um, he will be in green and change the color for the hearts to be in red. Um, while that's going, let's go ahead and pick a writing client and put your dynamite. So let me change it to writing first. And then your Oops, apostrophe R-E, dynamite. And I'm not going to put the dash. I'm going to just do it all one word. Oh, maybe I didn't duplicate. Right click, duplicate. I didn't do it. Okay, so I'm going to contour this guy. I'm going to hide all the contours. And I'm going to keep the heart. See if I got it right. Oh, nope, I didn't. I guess I just need to unselect the, there we go. And then on this one, I need to unselect the hearts. There we go. And then put, oh, let's change the color of the pen first to the watercolor red. usable ink pens. Oh, I didn't go far enough. I didn't go to markers. That's what my problem is. Markers, watercolor red, and he's green. <laughs> Seeing how we just came over Christmas, it's going to be feeling Christmassy a little bit. Oh, that's going to be so cute with the uh, little red hearts on his bum. <laughs> that just giggles me, makes me giggle. Okay, you are dynamite. Oh, I wanted to pick a, and I want dynamite without any extra stuff. I wanted to pick a cute little heart writing font. So um, there were several in the um, home page as well. So let me go there and find uh, a couple of the cute fonts. So let's go back to home. I saw a cute, some cute ones in there before and it's gonna take of course a few minutes to load, a minute to load from on my computer. Okay, so I didn't go far enough before. It's here under the romantic fonts that I saw. Oh, look, and there's some more Valentine projects. So maybe we can skip my sheet card idea and find something in there that would be cute. But here's the romantic fonts, and I want to find a writing font that has some cute little hearts in it. Um, I'm sure there'll be one here that will load. Okay, so I don't want it too fruity. I like this heart attack. Um, I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. Um, if it's 
really bumpy. I hope that's just a display problem. So I'm going to click Add to Canvas, and let me see if there's others that have little hearts in it for the dynamite. The BFC Love Story, that's cute. And BFC Lover's Hearts, that's cute too. So you know what? Let me just add them all to the canvas that I like. And then if I want to use them, I can use them. And if not, then I won't. Back to the canvas. Oh, yeah, I was going to look at the best Valentine's Day projects and see if anything there caught my fancy. Um, for cars, and none of them are speaking to me, um, except for the year dynamite. I did steal that. So, oh, well. <laughs> let's go back to the canvas. Okay, here we are back on the canvas, and it looks like we've got our fonts here. Oops. So there's the BFC love story. Um, that one is, oh, it looks like I added them twice. Lover's hearts, that is cute. That would be cute as in the writing. Oh, I installed it three times. That's funny. Um, and as I had thought, the heart attack does actually um, show up correctly in, in here. It was just the display. So that's the one that I want to use for the year dynamite. So let's just select it from here. Heart attack. Don't go close to my heart. There it is. Oh, I'm going to have to put that on two lines like oh oh look at that cute little um that exclamation point oh that's darling okay sorry let me get my guide i'm gonna steal my guide bring him down here you're dynamite oh <laughs> this is so cute i can't stand it And I want to make that smaller. And we're going to have to use a regular pen for that. You know what? I want to squish those two lines up together. So up here on the line spacing, I'm just going to make that smaller. Quite a bit smaller, actually. Yeah, I like that better. Right about there. Oh, these are all um, uh, one card is all in pen. So I do have to put it in, um, attach it. Okay, so let me uh, center. Well, okay, let me attach the hearts to the um, to the dinosaur first. Oops, I don't want to move them. I don't want to resize them. I just want to move them down closer to his bum. And I want to attach those so they don't go move. I want them to be at one spot. And then I want to put these so that they're centered horizontally with each other. There we go. There's the dynamite is set up. Okay, so the next one I want to do is much love. Um, uh, oh, did I select the right font for this one? I did a uh, regular black pen is correct. Um, and let's see, what did it select by default? The black four point millimeter, that's, that's just fine. So let's go ahead and grab our guide up here and let's do the much love. Let's 
this about the right size. You know what I liked about the Much Love is that it had a, a big, um, a lot of white space around it. So I'm going to make these uh, quite a bit smaller, um, leave a lot more space on the card than the last time. Okay, let me align center those two parts. Align, center, there we go. And we'll make them both draw. I guess I could have done that at the same time, that's okay. Let's make the pen, oops. Oh yeah, that was right. But I need to make it the marker and scroll down to the watercolor for the black. I think I do wanna do it black and purple. Pen and marker, watercolor purple. Yeah. I wonder if this font is too annoying. Well, let's try it and see. Much love. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna go with it for right now. Um, but you know what? I do want all three of these ones aligned horizontally centered. Um, so let me just go ahead and, oops, I didn't select my other heart. I didn't select all three hearts. Let me, let me move the guide out of the way. Because he was on top, I kept on selecting him. Now they're all lined up. But do you know what? Let's do the much love in a red pen, a regular red pen. Um, yeah. I don't know if I love the red with the purple. Let's do a purple pen. Is there a purple pen? There is a purple pen. I'll have to find the pen that looks like um, that's similar to the watercolor pen. So um, I'll do that. That's not too bad for a card. Okay. So I can delete one of those. This love story writing is pretty basic. Um, and maybe I'll still use it. I'll think about that. So there's three cards. I still think I want to do my sheepy. Um, I have a theme for sheep. That sounds so weird. Um, I, I, I think they're so cute. They're just so, so cute. Okay, so let's go to images and find a sheep. So I want to find one that will be good to draw um, and because it's watercolor. So maybe let me look at the operation type and see if there's any draw ones. I'm going to do the cut and draw. And I want one with a black space. <laughs> of course that won't be <laughs> a cut and draw, but um, I want one that I can make have a black space so that, um, okay, this one is cute right here. Um, I, just, I, I just like the black face sheep, I think they're cute. 
Oh, and there's his mom. Okay, so there's, there he is. I think he's gonna have to have little black ears as well. So there's, um, I wanna contour him. We're gonna hide his bum. Oh, that was his outline, okay. So that's correct, but I do wanna duplicate and we're gonna do some contouring here because I wanna make, um, or maybe we could draw him the whole thing in black, but then I'll just color in uh, his face and his hoops. That's what I'll do. So no need to duplicate that one. Let's just get him resized properly. And it's funny it's saying him and it's actually a girl because it's obviously a girl if it's a you. <laughs> and I want to curve this. And I do want to make it smaller. I'm going to do this one in a red pen, just a red, red, red regular pen. Um, there we go. And maybe move this up just a little bit. Oops, I didn't attach all of this stuff from the last one card. And let me attach all of this stuff from this card, but let me center it first. Oops. Let me get rid of my guide. I don't need it anymore. Align center. And then, um, what was I gonna do? Attach it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stop my video here. And uh, no, actually, let me go ahead and cut my cards or draw my cards and then I will, um, oh, I didn't change my pen on the sheet. So once I select this, when, when I attach it, um, you'll notice it's selecting the whole thing. But if I just select the sheet right here, then I can still go ahead and change the pen. Um, let me go ahead back and show you. So once I select the whole thing, I can't select the right operation. It, well, I can, but it'll select both items and I don't want to do that. Um, so I want to select just the sheep in the layers panel and then I can change the pen just to the marker for the sheep. Marker and we want just the black watercolor. Now let's make sure I've got all my markers set up correctly. So this is a regular pen and look at the color sync. Oh, that only works for, that's too bad. I asked for that once, a color sync in the layers panel, um, but they didn't give it to me. So anyways, oh, I don't need this text. Let's delete that. And let's go ahead and do the save as and do a Valentine card. Valentine watercolor cards. These are S10, S40 cards. And I'm just gonna save that. Okay, this is, let's switch over to my desk camera. This is the first time I've opened either of these boxes. So let me grab my pens. I found that it's easiest not to pull, but twist the lid off. <laughs> you don't uh, injure yourself that way. Okay. So pull out four cards. 
And do you know what? I'm going to pull out four envelopes while I'm here. Well, maybe not yet. I hope these work well. These are all one color designs, so they should be pretty, pretty simple to do. So not too bad. Okay, here's my markers. Oops. I need my pen, my knife again. And I need a green and a red and a black and a purple. Let's pull this out. Whoa, they went flying. So this is actually the watercolor pen and the brush. You unscrew it, fill it with water, and then squeeze on the brush and the water comes out. Or squeeze on the tube here and the brush is right here that the water comes out of. So we're not using that just yet. Red, I said red, purple, green, and black. Let me see if I can put these four away. Now, I didn't think about this until just now. Why didn't I, instead of putting my pens, like um, the boxes upside down, I could just flip all of these over and just store them upside down. Duh. That's the thought. Okay. So, on the card mat, we take off the cover. And there's a shiny side, and the shiny side goes to the mat when I put those back on. So I'm going to just set those to the side. Oh, I need to get my other pens as well. So it, these go all the way up to the top. And the 40 goes all the way over to the line and folds over and sticks. Lift up, lift up a little. have to wiggle them a little bit. Oh, that one went in really easy. I'm sure as I use this more, it will get better. Now I've seen lots of people use these with the cutout cards and, um, or cut out and do watercolors at the same time. Um, and that's what I got the card mat for, was so I could do more cutaway cards, um, but I just haven't done it yet. This is the first time I've ever used it. Okay, so my mat is ready. I need to get a purple and a black and a red regular pen. So let me get my regular pen. Oh, my black is already by my Cricut because I always leave it there. And we need a purple and a red. There's the red. And where is the purple? Ooh, we could do purple glitter. I wonder if that would be too much for... No, we'll do purple glitter. And my black is there. I've never used that purple glitter one, so we'll keep it fine. And it is, well, it's not the same color. Let me see if I have another purple that's closer to the same color. This one is called Bordeaux. Hmm. 
not in love with any of those. I kind of like that glitter one the best. It might be fun. And then there's a rose. Let me see if in my other markers that I have something, because um, I have adapters that will fit in my Cricut and see if I have another one. Oops, let's pull out that glitter one in case I like it. Okay, those are my infusible ink markers. And I've got Stadler markers and and other Stadler markers. So these ones that purple doesn't look, it looks definitely too dark. Let's look at these Stadlers. I've got several different purples in here, so let's pull them all out. I kind of like this one. And do I like it better than the glitter? I do. Let me see if I have, I think I have a Stadler Fine Liner Tri Plus um, I, adapter, but I'm gonna have to look to be sure. Let me check. I've got a jelly roll, a Sharpie marker, Sharpie fine point, Sharpie oil. Here it is, standard try, Stadler try point. Excellent. Okay, so I just got these off of Etsy and um, they fit in, well, I'll show you when we get there. <laughs> Let me put my markers away so they're off my table. and store them appropriately. So one of these Stadlers is actually, I wanna show you, it's actually two-sided markers. So these two-sided markers, instead of um, storing them tip down, I'm actually storing them sideways so that the ink um, goes to both tips. Okay. Let's go back to design space and see what it says in there when we go to make it. And we're gonna do this on the card mat. Oh, I missed an attach, I can see right now. So let me click confirm. The attach that I missed was the Your Dynamite. So let me go back. I'm gonna cancel this and do that attach. <laughs> that sheet just cracks me up. So attach all of that. There we go. Back to make it. I should have saved it. Back on the card mat, confirm. Perfect, it actually aligned them, centered them just perfect and I don't have to do anything. So uh, that's beautiful. Um, it selected the right material size over here. I could change that if I wanted, um, but I don't need to. So that is correct. So we're gonna click continue. And we're just really gonna have to watch the um, instructions here in design space to see what mat to put in or which pen to put in when. Okay, so I'm gonna put my pens to use in my Cricut machine, um, but my watercolor pens I'm gonna keep on my desk so I don't mix them up. Okay, so we are doing uh, the base material is watercolor paper. So I'm gonna select that and select watercolor. And I'm gonna put away my 
glitter pen. Whoops, sorry about the noise there. I dropped my headphones. Pick them up. Those need to go to work with me. I didn't click the search button. Watercolor cards, that's what we're going to be using. Done. Okay, it says move the star wheels to the center of the rail, making sure to align the middle of the color card to the card mat. So I'm going to have to use that. And I want to see the help article for the brush mat. And it wants me to load the black 0.4 pen in clamp A first. So let's move the star wheels and do put the pen in first over to my Cricut, move the star wheels in. I'll see if those align. I put my plain pens in black marker or black pen. Let's see if I got these aligned. Almost, there they are. Okay, let's load. Let's see what design space says while that's loading, measuring mass length. Okay, and it's saying it's ready to go. So let's click the Cricut and press play. Let me set my adapter right up there so I don't lose it. I love to watch her write. Oh, oh, that font is so cute. Oh, that's darling. Oh, I love to watch the cricket use the pens. It's like one of my favorite things to watch it write. I don't know why I do, I just love it. So in my next video, I'll stop this one after I write it, but I'll actually color them in a separate video um, so that this video isn't too terribly long. It's already long. <laughs> but at least you can see the design process and my design decisions. I think that's the hardest part is when you're designing, making those decisions and trying to figure out what to do. And you have to do it a few times before you figure it out. Okay, so now it says do the black watercolor in clamp A. So my watercolor pen is on my desk. I'm going to pick it up. Um, let me actually switch over. It's actually saying that in, um, in Cricut Design Space, load the black watercolor clamp in clamp A. It said before the green one, but now it's not. So, okay, we'll switch. So I'm going to switch that back. I did put the pen lid just right on top of the pen so I don't lose it going to put it back in there. Here's the black watercolor pen. Click that in and play. <laughs> it's on my sheet. It's so cute. I wonder if she'd have black eyes. I'll have to decide. Okay, now it's asking for the green watercolor marker in Cricut Design Space. So let me get that one. Here's the dinosaur. And 
now it's asking for purple of the watercolor. No, it's asking for purple. I'm glad I double checked. It's asking for the purple. Um, <laughs> I have a friend. I have a purple um, regular pen. So this is where I need to use my adapter. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually just gonna push up on my pen adapter, regular one. Then I'm gonna, this one just goes right in top and it has a lip right here that sits right on top of the, um, the, oh, that's right. It goes down and it sits on the lip that's down inside and you clamp it in that way. Do you know what? I'm gonna double check this pen real quick and make sure that it works because I don't, haven't used it in a while. Uh, I need paper. Yeah, it works. It's a Stadler pen, so I'm not surprised. Stadler makes um, um, uh, drafting supplies. My husband's a, okay, let me put the pen in first because I can't see because it's a triangle. That was hard to put in. Okay, there, there it's in. And now in there. Okay, I'm so glad I double checked that. I was gonna put in the wrong pen. It's a cute font. I'm glad I used it twice. This is interesting. This one is actually, um, this font is doing it twice, not just once. Uh, outlining the words twice to make it a little bit bolder, which is fine. It's just interesting. Okay, now it's asking for the purple watercolor. So let me pull this guy out take him out. Sorry for the background noise. We just had family come in. Okay. Purple watercolor. This guy goes back in. Purple watercolor. Purple watercolor. Lid goes on top. I'm being trying to be very methodical because I don't want to make a mistake. Okay, that was it for the purple watercolor. Now it's asking for red watercolor. Play. Cute little red. Now this is interesting, this red marker isn't as, uh, it needed to warm up some, that's what was going on there. So there's a few lines that are um, not done as well. So I might redo the red watercolor pen and I'll show you how to redo that. So red point four in clamp A. Yeah, that red needed to warm up a little bit, so I'll show you how to redo that one. So in order to redo the red watercolor pen, I do not want to eject the mat. Do not eject the mat. And what I'm gonna do is just have it run through all of the motions again of recording, but or of writing, but not put the pen in for any of them except for the red watercolor. Um, so it's gonna take a few minutes. 
uh, but it should go pretty quick. I, again, I'm just going to have to really pay attention um, to make sure that it works. Okay, so that one says unload map. I am not going to unload map. I am not going to press done. I'm going to unload my red pen and put it away. And all I'm going to do is press play again. If I press play again, it's going to redraw in the exact same settings that it did before. Oh, look, it kind of did the same for my green as well. So it looks like I'm going to have to redo the dinosaur too. I see some of the dinosaur is missing. Um, the black did really well, the purple did really well, but the red and the green didn't, so I'm gonna have to do those again. So I'm gonna press play. And it's gonna redraw the thing. Okay, it's asking for the black in clamp A, the black pen. That one's fine, I'm gonna press play, let it go. See, there's no pen in it, so it's not actually writing again. It's just going to act like it. <laughs> I'm tricking it. I guess next time I need to remember to warm up my watercolor pens a little bit um, more uh, so that they work a little bit more. And I might not have had them in the um, right position, um, tipped down for long enough. That might have been the case. While that's working, I'm going to go ahead and put away my markers that I don't need. Do a little bit of cleanup. I don't need my knife. I can put away the extra cards. Okay, it stopped. It's asking for the black watercolor. I'm not going to load that. I'm just going to press play. I actually have the green and the red watercolor markers in my hand <laughs> so that I uh, don't forget what I'm doing here. I actually don't need this um, adapter anymore either, so I'm going to go ahead and put it away. It actually goes right in here. Okay, it's asking for the green watercolor marker. I do want to redo green. Green watercolor marker in, green cap. Good. Oh, that looks much better this time. It looks as thick as the black did. Now, good, good, good. Okay, it's asking for the purple. I'm taking the green out. I'm going to put the green away. Press play, let the fake purple go. I think the red was next. I don't remember. I don't remember. Still standing here with my red in my hand so I don't forget what I'm doing. <laughs> Load purple watercolor. So just press play again with no marker attached. Load red watercolor. Click in, press play. Oh, much better on those cards. Yes, now it looks bold and thick like it should. When you unload the mat, it, you can't be sure that it's gonna write in the same exact spot, and that's why I was made sure to leave 
the mat loaded. And that is it. So I can unload the mat now, even though it's still drying and stuff, um, we're done. So there we go, I'm gonna unload the mat. Here are all of the cards. You know what I think I'm gonna do is, and also in my next video, I'm going to um, get the sentiments written on the inside as well with my Cricut, and then um, I'll go ahead and um, color them. So maybe that'll, maybe that'll be two more videos. We'll see. Uh, so thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.